you so much for being sure. here. My pleasure. My pleasure. This is uh, truly one of my favorite movies of the year. Great. It's wonderful. I also, before we get to it, I want to uh, thank you because you were also nominated for a Golden Globe. You were in the audience. I made a joke about it was the first time uh, men could hear their name as nominees and not be terrified. And you gave me a great reaction to that joke. And I think it got a bigger laugh than the joke itself. <laughs> <laughs> I got a rubber face. What you got a rubber face. It was great. Well, thank you so much. So uh, this film, you actually, it's about uh, uh, families uh, living in a budget hotel in Florida. It's obviously an actual hotel that was still running while you were shooting. Right, right. Uh, there were residents there uh, that kind of were living the same life that we were depicting in the film. You played a manager of this hotel. Were there times that people who lived there thought you were the actual manager? Well, you know, like a couple of times they had to get us out of the way because they had to check people in, for example. Uh -huh. We'd be in the middle of the scene and they were like, can, can you move aside? We got business to do here. <laughs> and uh, one of the other things that was great, there's a fantastic scene in the movie where as the manager, you have to uh, uh, get actual birds out of the way. These birds were, they're protected, so you couldn't touch them. And occasionally they'd, they'd come over to, I think the real manager was feeding them Cheetos. <laughs> okay, gotcha. That's, that's why they would come around. And sometimes they'd be in our shot. And one time the director said, can you deal with that, those birds? And uh, the camera was rolling, and we went with it, so I, I had a little improvised scene with the birds. Uh, and they were very good. They were great. They're great partners. Yeah, great scene partners. It was, a, it was a wonderful scene. I will also say, it seems like if birds are protected, you shouldn't be able to give them Cheetos. <laughs> 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 that seems like even... I didn't give them. Yeah, no, look, I it's didn't... very clear it's how... the other where... guy. <laughs> yeah, you throw him under the bus. Uh, so the kids, obviously... Uh, you're a trained actor. Uh, the kids and a lot of the actors in this film uh, came from local community theaters. Some of them had not acted before. Uh, the, one of the, the, the mother uh, that plays the, uh, well, the mother and the, the six-year-old child are the main uh, performers. And uh, the child is six years old. Yeah. She's uh, done some things, but she's six years old. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Bria, who plays her mother, was found on Instagram. Yeah, she's fantastic. Fantastic. And I love performing with them because they're very free. They have nothing to uh, compare it to. They're totally in. They're really good at pretending. They're really good at uh, just uh, dealing with what we're doing. They aren't thinking outside of what's happening. They're very present, and that's always a pleasure. I mean, and so when you, when you work with people who have less experience than you, does it make you feel more experienced or does it may bring you back to like when you were... I think, I think it brings you back and that's what you always want to do. You kind of want to forget what you know and uh, enter the story in its own terms and not think about tricks you have or a process you need. You know, you try to find new ways. Uh, you, there are a lot of people who are pulling for you uh, at the Oscars. That's uh, cool. And one of them is Dennis Leary. Uh, Dennis Leary... <laughs> Uh, tweeted, really need Willem Dafoe to win an Oscar this year so I can be mistaken for an Oscar winner wherever I go. <laughs> so that was very nice. I mean, it seems a little self-interested, but it's, it's self still... self Yeah, and then, uh, this is pretty great. This morning, my Uber driver said he loved me in the Florida Project and wondered if I was working on my Oscar speech. I said thank you and yes. Then we took a photo together, hashtag go Dafoe. <laughs> Uh, so it is, it's already happening. The only thing, I got a beef with Dennis Leary because he keeps on having me take the rap for Dumbo Drop. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he was in the movie Dumbo Drop and now you have to answer questions about that. <laughs> no, no, he, he always says, no, that wasn't me, that was Defoe. Oh my God, <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> I've never seen the movie. I shouldn't say it until I, I've seen That's it. That's true. I will tell it's you this, if he's getting credit for Florida Project, you deserve better than Dumbo Drop. <laughs> Uh, is there anyone, who do you uh, get mistaken for? Is that? Um, I, probably the, the best one and the most, the one that happens the most time is, particularly when I'm thin, Mick Jagger. <laughs> okay, that's pretty great. And, and it's always very enthusiastic. They, uh, it's always, oh, oh, Mick Jagger, <laughs> Mick Jagger. <laughs> and, and I was like, oh, do that thing, you know. <laughs> that's a, come on, baby, do that thing. So. Which is cool, which is cool. I love Mick Jagger. I grew yeah. up with Mick Jagger. Forget that he's about 20 years older than I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta let that go, yeah. yeah. He's cool. But so you, uh, it seems like, because I will say that was very good. 
It seems like you own it, and you don't. Do you correct people, or do you let them have that moment and say they met Mick Jagger? Oh, better yet, once I was someplace, and it was in Italy, and I, I went to the toilet, and I heard the kitchen going, Mick Jagger, Mick Jagger. <laughs> and I got so scared that they'd come out and ask me for an autograph or something. Well, I was. I didn't know whether I could say no. I'm not him, or I just do it and hope I get out before yeah. they really ask me to <laughs> dance or sing. You know? yeah. The best would be if you were in Italy and you faked it, and they immediately looked and were like, "He's not Mick Jagger." <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Uh, good luck at the Oscars. It was. Uh, it's just such a fantastic film, and it's great. so great to have you. Thank you great. so much.